Welcome to School City Boot Camp. This is Roger Bright. This video will show you how to take a test using the School City Portal. To log into the School City Portal, go to the link that you see on the screen, or you can Google School City Student Portal Hillsborough, and a link will appear towards the top. To log in, enter your student number in the first box under Student Access. Then enter the month and day of your birth as a four digit number in the password box. For example, if you were born on March 4th, your password would be 0304, third month, fourth day. If your birthday was November 11th, your password would be 11 for 11 for November and 1111 for the 11th day. Then left click sign in. On the launch pad page, left click on take assessments. You'll now see a list of all the assessments that have been activated for you to take. Find the assessment name you wish to take and left click on it. Depending on how your teacher created the assessment, it may look like this, where a PDF of the quiz appears on your left and the answer choices appear on your right. On rare cases, like civics or U.S. history, your teachers may use an item bank, in which case it will just appear as one large test and you would click the choices immediately under the question. Scroll through the test by left clicking and holding the down arrow at the bottom of the scroll bar. If your test has more than 20 questions, you would scroll through your answer choices the same way. If your test is an item bank assessment, such as the ones I will be using for civics, then your test screen will look like this. Each question will appear individually, and you select your answer by left-clicking on the bubble next to your desired answer. To move between questions, you can do several things. You can click Next and Previous to move forward and back. You can left-click the down arrow next to the search menu to select the question that you want by typing it into the search field. Or you can click on the individual question numbers to take you to those questions. In the lower left side of the screen, you will see a timer. Your assessments will have a time limit you must adhere to, so be sure to keep track of this timer. I will always give you much more time than I think you need, so it shouldn't be a huge concern, but other teachers may want a tighter window. In the upper right side of the screen, you will see two small boxes. The box on the left is a toolbox. Left click on that to look for online test taking tools, such as line readers, text to speech, answer eliminators, calculators, whatever tools your teacher wanted to provide on this assessment. The box on the left will toggle you out of the full screen and back to a regular window. Enter your answers by left clicking on the letter you want. When you are finished, left click done, view results. If for some reason you want to go back to the test, you can still go back from this screen. Left click review items. If you are done and ready to submit it to your teacher, left click submit for scoring. This will take you to your launch pad. If you want to check to see how you did and your teacher enabled the feature, you can go to scores in the upper center of the screen. Left click scores. This will give you the percent scores for all the tests you've taken on School City in reverse chronological order.
in other words most recent to oldest the scores on this slide have been blocked out for privacy reasons to see more information such as the letter grade left click view result next to the assessment you want to check for example i want to see the letter grade for distance learning assessment so i left click view results on that line here i see the raw score nine out of ten and the percentage ninety percent here i want to take a moment to talk about bonus points frequently on my quizzes i will give bonus points in that case the percentage score will not accurately reflect what your percentage score would appear to be in Edsby because School City does not recognize percentages. I altered this in School City to have an accurate grade letter by changing the cut points when I create the test. So the percentage might not be correct. The letter grade, however, will be. School City calls the letter grade performance level, which for this assessment was an A. This grade won't appear in Edsby until your teacher moves it over. I hope that was easy to follow. Good luck with all your testing. Good luck with the remainder of your distance learning.